I'm not gonna take a closer look. I'm not gonna be that girl. 
was sitting up on the stump. And, you know, could it have been collected things? Maybe. Could it have been something sinister? Maybe. I don't know, but it weirded me out. I took a photo and I sent it to my boss and it was like, yo, where are you sending me, dude? And that just kind of sat weird with me. That, was it the same day or the next day? It was, it was the next day. Maybe the same day. No, it was the same day. I go up to this trail that's supposed to be behind this Masonic temple. And this trail also, oddly enough, backs a cemetery. And this trail leads to a very tall electrical, like, area, like a big electrical tower that's all fenced in. And it's maybe like a quarter mile long. So I start walking on this trail. I'm taking my pictures and stuff and and it's just, it, something doesn't feel right. And I look up from my phone and there's this deer carcass. And not just a deer carcass, it was a perfectly, like a perfectly pristine white bone deer skeleton. Like, if you could lick a bone clean, that was it. It was the ribs uh, down to the head, but oddly enough, next to it, fur and everything intact, was a deer foot. And nothing else, though, no guts, no anything. Like, it was just this clean deer carcass, and then this foot, this furry foot, that looked like it almost had a little bit of fur like crumbled around it and I was like, what the? How? Two different deer, same deer, but wouldn't it all have decomposed at the same time? No, I don't do, like, I don't know. I have these photos and I was like, no one's gonna believe me, so I had to take a picture. But that was really odd. <sighs> I was at this other big, big uh, estate on hundreds of acres of land, and I'm walking, and this was kind of cool, but I came across a horse cemetery on this land. It just had a, it was a little plaque, it said horse cemetery, and I walked up, and there was a little bench with two little gravestones for these horses that had passed on the property. And I was like, oh, just randomly on this trail in their woods. It was, I mean, kind of far, I think, to put something like that, but so then this brings me to our last story, which this freaked me out. And this, my friends, was the last place that I looked at in the woods. <sighs> photo. 
goes, I've got some pins of places I need to see, and I'm just going down there, and he was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I, I don't like the thought of you going down there by yourself. And I was like, I don't know this guy, like, thanks for your concern, but I think I'm fine. He goes, uh, we, <laughs> the guy saw some really weird, we were down, <sighs> we were down there the other day, and we like, the guy saw some really weird shit down there. <laughs> Hold on. And he's like, hey, let's say his friend's name was Steve. He goes, hey, Steve, get over here. He says, we're not from here. I don't know if you're from here, but we're not from here. He goes, and we, there's some weird stuff going on out here. And look, we're like, we're independent contractors. Uh, if something weird's happening, I'm going to tell you. I got nothing to hide. And I was like, oh, well, I appreciate your honesty. It's also kind of a weird thing to say. Like, weird stuff's going on out here, but I'll tell you the truth. Like, is it being hidden? He said, well, okay, so we went after work one day, the sun was still up, and uh, we went walking down the trail to go and see stuff down there. And I got a call, so I had to step up on the side of the trail, but the guys kept walking. He goes, tell, Steve, tell what you saw. And Steve, Steve's like shaking his head. He comes up, and he just looks a little shaken already, and I'm like, oh, sp cough it up, Steve. What, what you see? And Steve's like, oh. he's like, yeah, well, we were we saw this guy in the woods, and he was dressed all in black, and he had a ski mask on, and I was like, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, it, it really freaked us out, and he's like, we're like big, you know, we're like three big dudes, like, you would think one person wouldn't freak us out, but it was really unnerving because the moment that he saw us, he ducked behind a bush, and we just froze. We were like, uh, 